friends. So last time we talked about superpowers. We talked about how all these powers are super important. Our point power, reread power, partner power, picture power, snap word power, sound power, person's power, book talk power, and pattern power. But we also talked about one power that's not on this list. Do you remember what that was? It was word power. And we talked about how word power is important because it can help us read more fluently. That means it helps us sound better when we're reading. And we talked about learning how we learned all those word parts that we can lasso together and how we say those letters together. Kind of like instead of turtle way, we say them all together. So we're here today again to practice some of those word parts. Last time we practiced this word part, which is what? At and this one, add. And we knew from this one we could make like mat, rat, sat, cat. And this one we could make mad, sad, rad, fad. And today we're going to practice two more that you've already learned in class. But these two we're going to practice now. This one. Can you tell what it is? N, N, and this one, Ed. So we're gonna practice these two today. And then we're gonna see if we can find them in our story. So let's look at just N first, N. Let's see what we can make out of it. Hmm, what if I add that? What does it make? Hmm? N, men. How about this? B, N, Ben. Just like Ben, like we know Ben. How about this? T, N, Ten. How about this? H, N, Hen. Like the animal. Okay, let's look at Ed now. Let's see if we can use some of those same letters to make a words out of Ed. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Ed. Med. Hmm. I think, could that be a real word or have I never heard of that before? Hmm. How about this one? B. Ed. Bed. Oh, we know that word because we sleep in bed. How about this one? T, Ed, Ted. Oh, that's like a name, like someone named Ted it could be in our class one day. How about this? H, E, D, Head. Hmm. So we know that these two word parts can make a lot of words, just like we learned that at and add could also make a lot of words because those are word parts. So today I want us to read this book and to really watch out and see if we can find any of these word parts in here. And if we do find them, we're not gonna sound them like a turtle. We're gonna sound them out like we know them because we know those word parts by heart now. Let's see, let's look at the title. Did you already find some? The, oh, whoa, what's that? Oh, it's a must be a word part. So Ed, but add a R, makes red. The red, and what's that? N, hen. The red hen. Yay, word part power. Okay, read with me. The red hen. Oh, if we looked at the pictures, our picture power matches too, because we see a picture of a hen that has red on it. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this up a little so you can see it. Ben, word part, met a red hen. The hen was wet. The hen was 
wait a sec. <gasps> oh, wait, Mabel. Oh, Mabel says we know that word. She said that word is sad because we already learned that word part. We don't even have to think about it now because we know that word like in a snap. Okay, let's reread and make sure we say this so that it sounds good. The hen was sad. Oh yeah, so easy now that we have been practicing our word parts. The hen was not okay. Oh, he looks angry. Ben put the hen in his bed. The hen had a nap. What? Oh, Mabel says that that isn't a word part that we learned just recently, but she said that could be a word part. Do you agree? Like, what if we took off app? I mean, what if we took off n and just had app? Could we replace it with um, a t? What if we put a t? Then what would it be? It would be tap. Yeah, so we just basically made a new word part. You could do this when you're reading too. You could discover words. Okay, the hen had a nap. The hen sat up. Buck a buck, buck a buck, buck. The hen was okay. The hen put the hen out. Then Ben saw the bed had 10 eggs. Okay for the hen. Okay for Ben. The end. Whew. We worked hard on our word part power. We knew we could figure out a lot of words because we used our word part power and we could say the word like kind of smushed together instead of really slow. Oh, Mabel says she doesn't really know what the story was about because we spent all of our energy just figuring out words. So I'm gonna tell Mabel a tip and tell you a tip too right now. So remember one of our superpowers is reread power. And here's the trick. If we work really hard to figure out words in a book and we used our word power and we used our sound power and we worked so hard, but then we get to the end of the book and we don't know what it was about because we spent all of our energy just figuring out the words. Then I wanna tell you guys and Mabel that something you can do is reread your book. And this time it'll be way easier to read because we already did all the hard work. We already figured out all the words. So this time we just have to go and read it. Okay, let's go and read it so we can figure out what the book was actually about and pay attention to that part. The Red Hen. Oh, so much easier. I already figured it out last time. So now I can just read it. The Red Hen. Ben met a red hen. The hen was wet. The hen was sad. The hen was not okay. Ben put the hen in his bed. The hen had a nap. The hen sat up. Buck a buck, buck a buck, buck. The hen was okay. Ben put the hen out. Then Ben saw the bed had 10 eggs. Okay for the hen. Okay for Ben. The end. Wow! 
So since we already did, we read it once and figured out the words, we went back and read it again so that we could understand what the story is about. And I feel like I know the story so much better now that we reread it. So today, I want you to go read your books. Try to find those word parts and then use them to help you figure out words. Then after you read a whole book, if you get to the end and think, I don't really know what that book was about. I used all my energy figuring out the words. Then your tip for today was you can go back and reread the pages again. And this time you won't have to do so much work figuring out the words because you already did it. You can just go back and reread and think about the story. So I want you today to go off and private read and practice those two things that we that we talked about. You're practicing your word power and you're practicing rereading so that you can better understand the story. Have fun reading.